Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we will see that how we can hit a post API in the Angular. Alright, so there can be lots of way to hit the post API. Like you can just make the service and many ways, but I'm just going to tell you the simplest way there you don't no need to make the services and all. But in the upcoming videos, I will also show you that how we can hit the post API with the service also. But this API is without the services. So now let's uh, check out the points that we have to do in this video so first of all we have to import the http module and the form module in the module.ts file we have to make a html simple form then we have to check the api url and after that we will just send the form data in the ts file and this data will be posted in the api and we can just check test the result all right so first of all let's check out the url also so this is my localhost api here you can see that this is the localhost slash uh, restaurants there is uh, 10 data for now but when we just uh, uh, posting the APIs we will get here more data and we can check that this is API is working fine all right so we need to just send the four fields in the API name email address address and the rating ID is automatically generated when we just hit these four things properly then 11th ID will be automatically generated here all right so if you don't know that how why we have why we are using the post api we are why we are not using the get api the reason is that there is four kind of apis in the regular basis which is the get api which, which is basically used for fetching the data post api will be posting or saving the data delete api will delete the api data and put api is basically for updating the data all right so now let's get back here and just start with the first point all right so let's just open this API in this complete video we will just change the three files app.model app.html and uh, app.component.ts file so let's come here and just import the two things one is just import something from uh, iterate angular common and just use a http and just get here HTTP module client module right and just put inside the imports array right we don't need here uh, reactive form array so I can just remove it and here I'm just going to use here import here form module all right and this form module can be used directly here inside the imports array now this files work has been finished so I can just close it now let's get back to the app dot html file make here a small form we don't need action here all right and uh, let's put the name to this form like user post or post data whatever you just want to put here and just assign him ng form all right and let's take an input field like this and it can be named with the name and we have to use the ng model with it because ng model will help that to bind this field with this form all right and just we can use the two br tag so that we can just manage the space between them let's make some copies of this like uh, address and uh, email okay. and we can just put here rating like this all right and uh, now at the last let's make a button here in the button we can just write here submit data or something that you just want to put here and let's define the button type also so button type can be like uh, submit now let's check out the front what we actually got here okay why we are not getting submit button here okay now we got a submit button with the four fields also so even just if you just want here you can just put a placeholder like name or uh, just make copy it here like uh, address so that we can just identify which field for using for which name then we can put here email and at the last we can put here simply rating perfect all right it's working fine now for submitting the data we have to define the submit event like 
ng submit and with the uh, ng submit we can simply use here uh, on submit function like this and here we have to just send the data from ng form uh, sorry user post this is the form id all right so now let's come back to the app.component.ts file and first of all let's define the own submit field uh, function and let's put here uh, data or uh, just want to console here for a moment so that we can just check that we are getting the data or not here we have to use the user post dot value all right so now let's try to submit it what we are getting here so let's i'm just going to put here name uh, like uh, macd or address is noida email id is something like this rating is um, 5 out of 5 excellent okay so we get the data here all right so these name address email are rating we got the all data from for this now or if we have to just put the url inside the api and we will fetch we will just hit the api so for hitting the api we also have to import the http client which will help us to uh, submit the api so just write here from uh, yep and uh, just use here at the rate angular common and we can put here like http and just find here http client and in the http client uh, let's make a constructor first of all and here let's define a instance of it and this instance can be kind of private like this now just put here this dot http dot uh, post and here we will need to put the two things one is the url which is here all right you can just pass the url like here and in the second parameter we have to pass the complete data which is coming from the as in parameter all right okay we also just define the constructor properly then we can use dot subscribe and in the subscribe if you just want to check that what data is inserted in our api or database then you can just console dot phone here the result all right so now let's put, put the result as in string and now let's put the result so i hope everything is fine and data should be saved here so here once again we are just checking that we have the 10 result with the last name with the kfc2 all right so here i am just going to put here like uh, angular resto address is, is google and email is angular or like resto at the rate test.com right rating can be like 4.9 that's excellent and just hit the enter now you can see that result is here with the id 11 and the complete data should be saved here now let's try to refresh it and now you, you can find that we are able to install the new data all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care